Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about TypeScript tips and how to avoid some bad practices as typecastings and also how to use type guards in order to prevent those uh, bad practices. I will start from the TypeScript website and here you will find the playground and also the guidelines on how to enable TypeScript on your computer. So for the simplicity reason, I will choose the playground and you can also use it when you want to try out things. Let's zoom in and let's get started. I will create an interface for the object uh, of person and it should contain uh, two fields first name, which will be a string, and the last name, also a string. Now I will create a new object, which will be new person, and it will have uh, these two fields. So first name will be John, and the last name will be Doe. And now if I'm, if I'm going to use casting, type casting, everything will be fine, but let's say one of the colleague decides to add an age as a property for the person, and now if I'm going to use new person, basically I will be able to access the age property, but it will be undefined, so if I'm going to call the method, it will just show an error, which will probably say that uh, the method cannot be uh, executed on the undefined property. So with the type casting, you're basically killing the purpose of the TypeScript and you're telling the TypeScript just to ignore the values and uh, not to check anything for this specific object. However, if you make the explicit type and move the type of person next to the variable name, you will get an error message and the TypeScript will prevent you from making some mistakes. Now let's continue with some new interfaces. The first one will be for the software engineer, which will extend the person interface. So it will basically contain all the fields from the person, but we will also add a department, which can be front-end or the back-end. And we can also add the software property Basically, it will be the software that is used by the software engineer, which can be either VS Code or Sublime Text. You can play around with uh, the values. And the next interface will be for the designer. It will also extend the person interface. And we will add the software property, which can be Photoshop or Figma. I don't have a code for matter, so I will need to double check everything. I think it's okay. And now I will create uh, a new uh, variable, uh, employees, and it will be uh, an array of software engineers and designers. So I will create the first object in the array will be uh, the software engineer, John Doe. It will be the age of 32 and the department will be front end. So John Doe will be using VS Code and I can also specify the type of this variable. So it will be an array of software engineers and designers. And the next object will be a designer, Michael. It will be Michael Johnson. And the software that he will be using will be Figma. Now I want to create a function that will return front-end engineers. and I will access the array of employees 
and I will call the filter method and I will have the employee object as a parameter and now I can just check the department property and and if this statement uh, is true I will just return true otherwise I will return false and you will see the error which says that the department uh, property doesn't exist on both uh, interfaces and we can also optimize this uh, statement by just returning the checkpoint line and I can store the values in the variable and we could just uh, do the type casting here and now I have a typo here but it, will, it should be department and we can access this uh, department property let me just scroll out a little bit and we could also uh, cast the final result to be the array of software engineers because we won't have designers in this array so we have two castings here and we could encounter the same situation as I previously mentioned the TypeScript will just not uh, check anything uh, so the good way to approach this is to create a type card it will be just a function that will mark the given object as an object of certain type in this case that will be software engineer and this function will just return the boolean value so either true or false so the employee can be either software engineer or designer and we want to tell TypeScript if this function returns true mark this employee as a software engineer and we will specify that condition inside this function so we could check the common property for software engineer and for designer and decides and decide whether the, the employee is a software engineer or not and we can check that if the used software is VS Code or Sublime Text this function should return true therefore the employee will be software engineer otherwise it will return false and the TypeScript will tell us that that the employee is a designer we can also simplify this uh, condition and the function just by returning the the if checkpoint let me just figure out the zoom out and zoom in and we can also place the return statement in the next line so it will be more readable and now if we want to use the employees array and the filter method we can just pass this uh, function this type guard function let me first create the new variable frontend devs so this way uh, the frontend devs will be marked as array of software engineers we should also return uh, frontend devs just to sum it up uh, if you uncomment the previous line and remove the type castings the TypeScript will give you an error for the fields that are not common between software engineer and designer type which is in this case uh, the department property with the type guard down below we can uh, safely use the department property because all the returned uh, employees will be software engineers we can also make the checkpoint uh, much uh, easier if we add a new field uh, that will be position so the software engineer will have the position of engineer and the dev designer will have the position of designer and I will update the array and now in the type guard we can change we can change the checkpoint and if the position is equal to engineer that will mean that the employee is a software engineer type and now that we improved our uh, type guard we can 
add another filter method that will return only the front-end engineers from the array of software engineers. So I will have uh, the employee as a property. And now we can uh, safely use the department property and check if the department is a front-end. And if you check the type of the returned value, it will be an array of software engineers. And we can test that by doing a console log and by calling this function. Let's bring the sidebar back. Uh, you will have the logs tab. And if you press the run command, you will get uh, the result in the console. And congratulations, you reached the end of this video. I hope it was useful to you. And if you want to support me, please like the video and subscribe to my channel.